Well, joining me today is Brandy Hofer. Brandy, last time we chatted with you, you were working on your piece called Together, and now that the painting's all finished, so we're circling back to that relationship you had with uh, Davy Sage. We had the music video that came out for that. So talk about the painting and kind of give us a little bit of a recap for those that aren't too familiar. Okay, so back in the spring, uh, Davy Sage, a Saskatchewan musician, called me and he was just at a BLM march and he said, Brandy, I have this idea. I wrote this song during the pandemic. Uh, it's called Together. It's all about, you know, the world working together and coming together during this time. And I was wondering if you could make a painting to this, this song and, you know, just do some shots with your phone and it'll turn out. I was like, oh, well, I have an idea. And I do have a friend who takes great video, uh, Kim from Nara Studios, and he probably could make a bit better of um, a, pro a project out of this. So we came together, together and we made uh, this stunning piece of artwork, which is actually Kim's daughter's embracing. You can kind of see it in the back. Um, and our kids and his kids worked together to make it. And then we like framed it, made it really nice. Um, you can see the video on my Instagram, Brandy Hofer Artist, um, and also on our website, uh, brandyhofer.ca. But we wanted to raise funds. So 50% of this will be auctioned off to our Lloydminster Sexual Services. And then the other half will be going to um, the Saskatchewan African Canadian Heritage Museum. Um, and the auction begins January 28th and it runs to February 20th. And that's with the Saskatchewan Network for Art Collecting. So Davey and I, of course, we wanted to raise money and do this great cause, but we didn't have a lot of experience in the auction area of the world. So we contacted Robin, the founder of the Saskatchewan Network for Art Collecting. And he said, actually, we're doing Black History Month in February. If we can just um, put it with that auction, I think it would be a really great fit. And I agree. And it was, it's, yeah, so it's going up. It's finally happening. Um, it's really, it's really uh, rewarding. And we're so excited. You mentioned how one half of the funds are going to the Saskatchewan African Canadian Heritage Museum in relation to Black History Month. And of course, the other half are going to the Lloydminster Sexual Assault Services. What made you want to give that other half to the Lloydminster Sexual Assault Services? Um, well, it's, it's my auction of choice. Um, I just feel like we have such a big surrounding area and um, it's an ongoing thing that needs to be supported in our community. Um, it's really close to my heart. Um, my friend actually, she, she works there. So I, I just, I know they need the funds. Like I just chatting with her and, and it's, it's so important to, to our surrounding area. So, and Lloyd Mister, of course. Um, and then with, the other half of the project with Black History Month, I think that's also um, really needs to be talked about. Um, it's so, the whole thing is to increase um, representation of Black subjects in private and corporate and public art collections in the province. So all around, it will be just to raise awareness around all these things. And of course, money for great causes, so. One of your signature things in your art, Brandy, is incorporating your kids, and now you have other kids involved with this project. And does that add kind of extra incentive to help raise the funds that you are looking to raise? Yeah, it's really it makes it it pulls at your heartstrings seeing the little the little kids work together, and and it's so special. Um, you know, kids really don't they don't really know what they're doing. They're just having a good time, and and um, they they came together. Um, hopefully I can tell them that we, it is for a good cause and we will raise funds and um, maybe I'll catch that on video or something and share it later, what, they, what their opinion is on that or their outlook. <laughs> Now off the top, of course, you did mention that the auction takes place on January 28th up until February 20th. So where can people go to take a look at the painting and also make a bid if they want to? The Saskatchewan Network for Art Collecting. Um, 
I actually have the links all on my site. I know it's kind of a mouthful to say Saskatchewan and it's like SK NAC, so it's hard to find, but I have everything on brandyhofer.ca, all the links you can easily click from there to get to the auction once it's running. Um, and yeah, it'll all be pretty smooth from there. And then the bidding begins and yay. Well, Brandy, I really appreciate your time and thank you very much for joining us today. Thank you so much. It was a pleasure to chat with you.